Well, hello, darlings. It's Miss Tia. So what's going on on this Friday? I'm so glad that it finally made it to the weekend. And I hope y'all either have plans to just hang out and relax on the weekend or you have some plans to do something fun. And get off of these streets for a while, people. I mean, there's times we need breaks from these streets. But yeah, so, um, let's see what's been going on. Well, it looked like Betty had a court date today with the stuff with Queen B. Like, you never know which, which, what you're going to court for this time because she got so many different court things going on, so many people filing on her. But this time it was for Queen B, and she came back, and boy, she don't like Queen B's lawyer, that's for sure. She called him all kinds of naughty names. Like, Betty, come on now. Can you just be professional for just a little bit? But no, she can't. She can't do that. So, yeah, and, you know, she's just getting worse and worse with her, you know, like, she thinks she's just, like, the boss, the authority, the final say-so on everything. And, you know, like, she's, she's talking like, well, that's not going to happen to me because I'm Bullhorn Betty. Like, what the heck does that mean? You Bullhorn Betty. Like, you somebody. Girl, mm, stop. Stop it with that. Nobody want to hear your mess. You're a joke. That's what you are. But anyway, so yeah, that, that, that's to be going on over there with her. And then let's see. What else? Oh, you got Brittany J. And nonsense. Uh, Brittany J's, I guess she's defending herself, she say, against the stuff that nonsense say about her. And so, you know, that's been going back and forth, back and forth. And then you got... Um, now, for malicious intent, like, she used to be, like, Britney co-host or something, and now she, like, you know, over there talking to nonsense, and then I guess she told her some stuff that Britney felt like was personal conversation, and so now she involved in it, and oh my gosh, people. So, yeah, that'd be going on. That's going back and forth, back and forth. So, y'all, I don't know. I It's, you know, I don't think that any of this stuff ever going to stop. Because the more people get called out, the more they're going to do stuff. Like, you know, you, you can talk until, you know, the cows come home, I guess. But it it really doesn't make a difference. I just, I'm starting to think it don't, you know. Because then people be coming in saying, well, you know, who made you the moral authority? And, you know, well, no, nobody's a moral authority. But, you know, there's certain things that people know all right and certain things that people know are wrong so yeah i don't know about that but that's still happening on these streets you got people trying to you know call people out for their behavior that's inappropriate and shouldn't have anything to do with these families and these victims but then you know those people kind of clapping back at them so i don't know so yeah that would be going on and then oh lord have mercy so the other night, uh, Unsupervised Maniacs went live, which I don't think I've ever seen her live before. I don't know if she'd been live before, but that's the first time I caught her live. And, um, you know, she was talking kind of about the same thing about, you know, people be doing stuff on these streets and, you know, like basically calling out the bad actors or whatever. And she just wanted to really have a conversation about it. And so um, she had Deets on the streets come up there, and she talked to her. And then she asked for, like, Chasing, Chasing Truth to come up there. And so she did. And, y'all, there was this dude or lady. I don't know what they are, but their name is Quirty or Quirt, Quirt something. Q-W-E-R-T-Y. That was in the chat. And that person just, like, just kept saying stuff about Chasing Truth that was up there. Like, to the point where it was like, it didn't go with the flow of the chat. It was just like, you trying to follow the chat, people be discussing certain things, and then boom, here's this dude, or this lady, whatever the heck, and saying, like, you know, just not nice things about Jason, and it was just such a weird thing. Like, it's like, that don't fit right there. Like, what's going on? Finally, y'all... Chasen lost her cool at the end, and she told that person, 
oh, like where they could go, what they could do, and what they could do it with, basically. I mean, she finally lost it, and y'all know if y'all ever seen Chase and lose it, she started talking in that Boston accent, and man, I'm going to tell you what, she could tell you real fast where you need to take yourself. And she did, and y'all, I was kind of laughing because I thought, about time somebody said something to that weirdo. I don't know who that weirdo is, but don't be doing stuff like that in other people's chats. You want to talk some mess like that? Create you a channel and go on over there. Don't be disrupting people's chats. So, yeah, that happened. And then, y'all, just my last thing. I save it for the last because it's this thing that makes me so freaking mad. Okay? Listen. You know, you got Ziggy and Fred over there. Okay? You know, Ziggy, whatever. Whatever. They married, whatever. But, y'all, in Ziggy's chat, I think it was today, and Fred comment in the chat that the oldest boy knows what happened. Knows what happened. He is referring to the Wells, the Summer Wells case, and he was referring to the oldest of the brothers. First of all, kids are off limits. You don't talk about children. Anyway, but do you realize, Ziggy, by allowing that in your chat, and I'm talking to you because you're the creator. By allowing that in your chat, you are putting that young man in danger. And let me tell you why. You're going to allow somebody to say that that child knows what happened to his sister. You're going to, you know, you don't know who else listening to you on this internet. There could be all kinds of kooks, psycho people listening and watching your chat. And they get the idea that, hey, somebody that lived close over there to them knows that that boy knows what happened to his sister. And they could seek him out, try to find him, and you ultimately put that child in danger. So, first thing, you shouldn't be mentioning children anyway, point blank. But the second thing is, by allowing someone to say that that child knows what happened, you are putting that young man, that child in danger because you ought to know about the psycho crazy nuts not just on these streets but on the internet in general that could be listening in the bushes to your live and watching your chat and you never know they there and they see that and they get it in their head well they gonna go find out what happened if that boy knows it, and they gonna get it out of it and that puts him in danger, and that is wrong and shame on you. Maybe Fred don't got enough sense to know not to do that. But Ziggy, you know, you know that's not okay. I mean, you just repeat him whenever he said that. Yeah, you agreed, and you even said it out loud yourself. You know better. Stop it. That is not okay. I mean, it's bad enough what's happened to their sister. You know, she's been missing for three years and we, you know, know nothing. And everything that those children have gone through, but yet you're going to allow something like that to potentially put him in danger. Mm -mm. Shame on you, Lord have mercy. Stop that mess. Stop it right now. But anyway, yeah, darlings, that's the thing that got me still really upset because, like, you know... All the fussing and fighting and who who's the bad actors and who says this and who says that. You know, that's just a drama, crama, crap on these streets. It ain't right, but at the same time, you know, it's not as serious as the business of talking about children and especially putting something on that young man, Summer's oldest brother, saying that he know what happened. Lord have mercy. So, yeah, that got me fired up. Oh, and the other thing, Bullhorn Betty got this most disgusting thumbnail with the Sebastian Rogers case. If y'all hadn't seen it, Lord have mercy. It, y'all, it's so gross. Shame on her. She's about as disgusting as they come. I tell you what. But anyway, all right, Miss T is going to get on off of here. I hope y'all have just a fabulous weekend. And you know, darlings, I'll see you soon. Bye now.